if you want to help somebody like I want to connect and maybe help my dad on his computer first thing I'm going to do is go down and then type in quick assist and now this loads up the quick assist app and you can see you need a Microsoft account to actually use this so if you haven't got a Microsoft account you can click on the button there and create yourself one I've already got my Microsoft account so I'm going to type that in now and log myself in and you'll note that I'm using the authenticator here. So I've got two-factor authentication on my Microsoft account, which is something you should have. And then you can choose, yep, yeah, stay signed in because you're gonna keep using this account in future. Quick Assist then connects to Microsoft servers and will load up and give you the option to give a security code to the other person. So let's bring up a virtual machine that simulates, say, my dad who needs some help. Now on his machine, and this is Windows 11 in this instance, Click on start, type in again, quick assist, load up quick assist, and it asks you, get assistance, get a code from an assistant. So I'm gonna copy this, and then over here, I'm gonna paste that in. And now I click, as the other person, I click share my screen. My dad's clicked on that, and now I will get prompted to help him by connecting to his computer and here it goes on the left hand side now yep I want full control I'll click continue back on my dad's computer you can see do I want to allow my son to control it yes I do so I will click allow on that the two computers are now talking to each other and here you can see that I am controlling my dad's machine from this machine so if I click on start Start opens over there. If I click on search, search clicks over there. That's how it works. And now when I'm finished doing this and helping them on the computer, I can click on the stop button up here to end that. You've got a few options that come with this. You can click which monitor you've got. You can do some annotations on the screen. You can make it actual size. That's to send information to each other in a text file. sent over to here and there you can see how are you so you can have a sort of chat conversation if you can't see each other and when you're finished all you do is click on the stop button and that ends my connection to the other person's computer and close that and you can see here it says screen sharing has ended and they click that and that's it you finished and that's the really simple way to help somebody out when you've got Windows 10 or 11 and they've got Windows 10 or 11 and you can do a quick assist session like that and give them some remote support, control their computer and help them out with the problem that they've got.